So let's have a little more care and have a look at something special. Now, this we're going to do. We're going to sort three dimensional shapes, not two flat ones, up, across, down. Three dimensions, okay? So let's have a look at these three dimensional shapes. And first of all, we're going to have to figure out whether you remember their names. Let's have a look. What's that one called? What's that one called? What's that one called? And what's that one called? Well, that one's a cone. I remember this one. It's like a hat. It's round at the bottom and a triangle on top. So that one's a cone. Oh, that one has to be, oh, a sphere, like a circle, three-dimensional circle. This is a pyramid. But, oh, yeah, the bottom bit is triangular. So it's a triangular-based pyramid, which means this one is a cuboid. Well done, children. Sort the shapes below into the table, a pyramid. Up, oh, put C in the pyramid. The cuboid, I'll put that purple one in over there. And a the cylinder, put one of the tins in. Oh, yep, got that right. A, got that right. Uh, e got that right, B got that, there you go, we can do this. True or false, these shapes have been sorted correctly by the number of faces. Let's have a look, count them up. One, two, three, four, and they're on the side, five, six, top and bottom. One, two, three, four, around the sides, five and six, top and bottom, that one's correct. Five faces, one, two, three, four, for the triangles on top of the square, five, one, two, one, oh, it's wrong. That one's a triangular base pyramid. It's only got three sides and a bottom. That one's got four sides and a bottom, so it's wrong. It's false. False. The square base pyramid has five faces, but the triangular only has, yeah, we can do this. Match the groups to the correct labels. Four vertices. Oh, that's points. Vertices are points. One, two, three, four vertices. One, two, three, four, five vertices. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight vertices. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight vertices. So that's eight vertices, that one. Four vertices, one, two, three, yeah. One, two, three, five. Oh, so it's got to be flat. That one's got to be flat. Ah. Okay, we nearly thought that one, didn't we? But because of the triangular base pyramid, it doesn't. Saw these 3D shapes into the Venn diagram. This side is curved surfaces. This one is flat surfaces. And this one has both curved and flat. So, oh, well, there's no curves in A. So A goes over here. B is curved and it's flat. So it goes in the middle. A sphere is all curved. So it goes here by itself. Flat face is D. Flat face is E. There you go. B had both. C only had curves. Oh, well, okay. Well, I think we can do this then. So, so I think we can do this. What we're going to do now then is we're going to have a look at the work you're going to do. Let's see if I can find it straight away. Where's the work? Oh, here it is. Sort the shapes below into the table. Q up. This side, cuboids. That's the ones which aren't squares. So B is not a square, so it goes in there. C is not a square, it goes in there. A is a square. D is a square. They are a cube because they've got the same length, size. These are longer. This one's the same. Ah, that one's a cylinder. This one's a sphere. That one's a sphere. That one's a cylinder. True or false, these shapes have been sorted correctly by the number of vertices. A sphere, how many vertices? Got no points. Oh, that's wrong. Oh. I, and I think that, but that's for you to think. Match the groups to the correct labels. Eight faces, 
and it's got what two faces it's got zero faces it's got uh, uh, sorry curved surface or six faces. this is ah oh, that's eight that's eight those two are eight that one that one's eight and this one has got well it hasn't got six faces saw these 3d shapes into the venn diagram will roll when moved will slide when moved oh the ball will roll d will go here the cylinder will roll when moved and the coin will slide when moved mm. well that will do c will go in there b will roll d will roll but A will not roll. We'll go around around in circles. Well, it might. Hmm, I'm not sure. So, let's have a look at these questions carefully and have a little look. Okay. Now, I don't want to tell you the answers. I want you to have a go yourself, please, children. You learn more by thinking about it than copying Mr. Tim's answers. I'll see you later.